So Bill from Idaho wants to know why it took us six years to start back up again. Well, Ryan, I think that uh, it, for the <laughs> no, uh, I mean we never really deliberately took time off. I think that uh, it just you know we put the record out and then we tried to find time to play and then we did and then we couldn't find any more time to play. We went we went our separate ways and released other records with other bands and then we never it was never like we were waiting for a certain time. We were always getting together here and there, like a week here and a week there. But back in back in like 2016, we started sort of reconvening for for writing, right? Like 2016, something like that. We did a couple of jams right here, actually, which yeah. was really cool. And I think uh, that might be the difference between this record and the first one. I think this one is more us as a real band that know each other now, know our personalities and yeah. how we we love each other's you know things that each each person has and we all wanted to share that i i actually thought it would be cooler i've been saying that a long time i think this second record is gonna it's gonna be way better than the first one because we know each other better now and we all really enjoy each other's company man it's like it's like what greg said a long time ago this feels like we're 16 playing in our favorite band and you, you cannot ask for nothing more satisfying than that. Even if you have a lot of success, nothing comes close to the feeling you get when you're in a room playing with your favorite friends and, and you're feeling that music coming through and you get the goosebumps and it's, fuck, it's so awesome, man. You know, so I think mean, it took six years, but it was worth, and it was worth the wait. There's a lot uh, of really cool memories in that six years too, like when we yeah. would get together and like you said, we would be out here the whole time and like, you know, we would just spend all, we were spending all day, you know, t together and writing and jamming and eating and, you know, stuff. some of us were staying in the same house or we'd come over to your house and we were, there was just a lot of like hanging out and uh, spending time together and knowing already what strengths we had and what each other brought to the table this time. It, you know, I don't know, it was a lot more organic and it did feel a lot more like friends, you know, like you said, when you're a kid, just, you know, it was weird, especially because it's hotter, it's so hot here. So we're just in the middle of the summer, getting together, like sweating to death, you know, in the in a in a air conditionless room, just writing, you know, and riffs it's with cool your friends in a sweat. The box. old riffs too that we end up using. Yeah, a lot man. of old shit. Yeah, was, from from a long time ago. I think the performances also are mind blowing, especially from these three gentlemen. Oh man, it's from awesome. here on. <laughs> Thanks, those, those guys, you know, kill it. I mean, it's, this is the fun thing about Killer Be Kill. You go in the studio, and it's almost like, I wouldn't say it's a competition, but it's kind of like a friendly, not on purpose, but everyone goes out there and do their thing, and the next person comes up, you're up to bat, and you go and do it, and then, oh, fuck, yeah, this is great, and then the next person go and, and, and does something else. Yeah, it's like this really cool mix of, of inspiration and competition and, like, you're not competing against one another, but you're like fired up. You see what someone does, and you're like, "Oh man, okay." You know, it like makes you raise your game. You know, you know I see you do something, and I'm like, "Oh shit, okay." Like or Troy or Ben, and it's like, "Oh shit," and you have to kind of make sure you're doing your best to, you know, because your buddy just killed it. That's a, that's pretty. How cool. how was uh, your impression, Ben, of first time playing in a studio with us? Pretty amazing, man. I mean, like you said, you know, we're all just, we're fans of each other. We've toured together. We enjoy each other's music. I mean, for, you know, years and years, you know, 25 years ago, you know, I was listening to fucking Sepultura and, you know, you know, all the other Dillinger, Mastodon, been such a fan for such a long time. So just seeing everyone in the studio just doing their thing was a real pleasure. And the, these guys definitely took a lot more chances, I think, musically and did things I've never seen them do or never heard them do. So that was also awesome, but yeah, like Greg said, just getting fired up, watching everyone perform and do their thing was really what, you know, gave us a lot of drive and, you know, the power to do it. Yeah, it, it was really hard keeping this album a secret, um, you know, because everyone's always doing press, you know, sometimes you just have, you know, you have your word vomit and stuff just like, just comes out of you. But, you know, the idea was to just keep it you know semi-secret until we were done and then we could just sort of unleash it like like holy shit these all of a sudden they have an album like where'd that come from and it, it was important to do that because you know we didn't know how long this was going to take and 
ended up taking you know five years so i'm glad we we decided to keep it a secret because you know it it's it's one thing to to say you have an album coming out but then waiting you know another three four years after that makes it have a little less impact so the idea was just to keep it keep it secret and and then just unleash it when it was ready That's a big question. Where's where's touring going? When will it start up again? Um, you know, we're just going to wait around until it's safe, and we're going to try to do as much as we can. You know, we're all really excited to tour. You know, we've only been able to do one tour in the history of the band, and that was when I joined in 2015, and we got to play Australia, which is great. But we really haven't been able to do anything since, and we were we were ready to go on tour right after this. You know, we we're all psyched, and then COVID hit, and now we're just kind of in a holding pattern. But we definitely have plans to to take this on the road as, as much as we're all able to. Yeah, I I personally am, am into the, the live streaming idea. I think if, it, if it's done if it's done well, um, I, I think it's a really cool thing. And I think people are people are really just starved for, for some kind of live experience. So yeah, we've talked about it and it, something like that might, might happen in the future. But, um, you know, just take some planning and we'd want to make it something really special, you know, not just like a a pre-recorded performance and then you know you pay five bucks for it or whatever we want to make it something you know worthwhile <laughs> 